Welcome back to a School of Civil Engineering. This is Hedatullah with another new video. In this video, I'll show you that how we'll find out self weight of a slab, okay, RCC slab. So, uh, in a previous some video, I have also discussed about some civil engineering basic knowledge video, and also this video is available in our uh, civil engineering basic knowledge playlist. So you can watch that. Uh, they have a huge amount of video that will uh, increase your civil engineering base basic knowledge and also if you're a civil engineer and you are new to our channel then subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so let's uh, start suppose this is a 3d view and uh, cross-sectional area of rc slab okay this is 3d view and cross-sectional area of rcc slab now uh, we have considered that our slab length are 15 feet and width are 18 feet and its depth are 6 inches. So you are seeing here it, its depth are 6 inches here. Depth 6 inches and here width 18 inches, uh, 18 feet and its length is 15 feet. Just to have considered about that. Now uh, if you go for next step, uh, next step and here if you calculate the total surface area of the slab okay what will the surface area of the slab so just here uh, 15 into 18 feet okay then it will be 270 square feet right 270 square feet now uh, simply we have to calculate its volume so how we we'll calculate its volume so to, to calculate its volume we have to multiply that area with its depth it's very easy so after that so that's why I have multiplied it by 7 uh, 270 into 0 0.5 0 0.5 means 6 inches I have converted that in feet after that here see our, our total volume I mean total volume of slab is 135 CFT 135 CFT now if we come here we know that unit weight of rcc okay unit weight of rcc equal to 150 pound per cft so unit weight of rcc is 150 i mean 150 150 pound per cft so just simply we have to multiply it, uh, that unit weight with its volume okay so because uh, we know that if we want to find out something's volume i mean something's unit weight then we have to multiply uh, that volume with its unit weight right so after that here the total self weight will be 20 oh sorry i have done a mistake here actually oh i'm sorry extremely sorry i have just changed that value that was my uh, mistake so here actually uh, we'll uh, multiply with its unit weight I mean uh, it's unit weight with its total volume so I have multiplied here this is its total volume and this is its unit weight and its total load is this is its total load and here 20.25 uh, kips so actually in this way we can find out its uh, I, I mean I can uh, I mean we can find out the total self weight of a slab like that way okay and also in a previous lecture i have discussed about how to find out its uh, uh, self weight of beam self weight of, of columns okay so thank you thank you very very much and if you think that you have learned something from here then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon because your support is very very required for us and also stay with us and support us thank you thank you very much